The ongoing debate on ballooning wage bill that was kick-started by Uru Kenyatta has seen leaders express their opinions on measures to tame the wage bill headache. And with section of leaders and professionals calling for a constitutional audit to get rid of numerous officers and positions. <laughs> Commission for the Implementation of the Constitution Chairman Charles Nyachai says there is need for a more inclusive and sober approach towards the matter. The Public Finance Management Act has very detailed provisions about how public resources are to be utilized. That is what we should be seeking to ensure that the law is obeyed, uh, both in letter and in spirit, and that is much more likely to achieve what we want to achieve. Nyachai says as much as there was need to look at some of the provisions, it would be wrong if that will be done on the basis of curbing wage bill and not for the common good of everyone. Statistics that are available suggest that even if you were to remove all the constitutional offices that were created by the Constitution of Kenya 2010, remove all of them overnight, that uh, will reduce the public wage bill by about 4%. Now, I'm not sure whether really that is the target that we have, whether that will solve our problem. And barely two days after the president proposed equal treatment of members of the counter assembly with those of National Assembly on car grant. Vile kwa jumbe kwa national government, vile wanafatiwa facilities, kama vile mortgage, car grants. Ah. Nyachai now says the proposal was illegal. He said only the Serem led commission would determine such a matter, adding that MCAs could only benefit from car loans under an agreement with their respective counties. The proposal pours cold water on the government effort to reduce the ballooning recurrent expenditure given the long term ramifications it would have on mileage allowances for the MCAs. Chotsky Duka for Channel 1, Weekend.